Uh, from Europe's southernmost regions, we move now to the northernmost region, which are also seeing some unprecedented events because of this heat wave. Ice on the glacier-capped southern top of uh, Kebnaikaisa mountain has melted so much at this summer that it no longer is Sweden's highest point. It has lost four meters, making it the only second uh, highest peak. The mountain has become a symbol of climate change in Sweden, which has seen its hottest July on record. Severe drought and some of the worst forest fires that country has ever seen. Well, let's go live now to Tarfala in northern Sweden, where we can join the researcher who made this discovery, Professor Gunhild Rockvist. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining us today. What were your thoughts when you first realized that the mountain had lost four meters and it's no longer the, the highest peak? Well, because of the very warm weather, we sort of expected a lot of melt, but we were surprised. And also by the look of this little glacier, it looked very different, something the looks are never seen before, so we sort of expected it, but we were still uh, astonished when we got the results, yes. And how can events like this tell, tell us about the wider implications of climate change? I mean, you were in a region where there are, it's, 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 a, it's a hub for the study of glaciers. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the trend for many years now. This peak has melted a meter, a meter per year uh, the past 20 years. And it's a symbol for all the glaciers in Sweden, in Norway, in the whole world, except Antarctica, so that what we know so far. So it's really a symbol. But also for the whole mountain region, it's not just the snow and ice that melts, the whole ecosystems and the people that depend on those, uh, the indigenous reindeer herding communities, they're really struggling at the moment. Yeah, can you touch on, on that and elaborate a little bit? The people and the wildlife that have been affected uh, as a result of this uh, change in climate. Yeah, I mean, uh, snow and ice is important, but also the vegetation is changing. And actually also the winter climate is changing a lot. The conditions in the snow, uh, which uh, causes a lot of problems for the animals, the reindeers and the moose and so on. So we see uh, lots of change. And uh, so it's serious. Yeah, I know we were talking about glaciers, but I also would like to bring to your attention the, of course, the wildfires that, that was also present in Sweden. So how does this all tie in together in the, in the grand scheme of things? Oh, I think people have been aware for a long time that climate change is here. And, but this summer, the effects have been really very dramatic. So, and we have an election coming up. So I really think and hope that our politicians will take this seriously now and inspire people to... Uh, uh, to change um, uh, and, and uh, get a better attitude towards this. Yeah, okay, and very, just very briefly, we don't have much time, but uh, lo looking no. ahead, do you, think, uh, do you think that this trend is going to continue from a scientific point of view? I think so, but it's guessing, of course. I mean, you know, weather changes from year to year, but the trend has been clear for the past 20 years, and I do think it will continue. And also, you know, uh, you start a melt cycle. It's just, uh, it will continue, yes.